All right, guys, what's going on? This is Wes here. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Haha, <laughs> this is my Tac Go Kid Mark One. All right, so uh, let's talk a little bit about this coolness that I got going on here. All right, so here, what do we have? Okay, right down here, we have Raspberry Pi 4 running Tac Server. All right, that same Raspberry Pi is also running a uh, Mumble Server. For uh, VoIP comms. Uh, what else we got here in this Pi? Oh, we also have an SDR running on that same Pi. Uh, you know, that way you can, I don't know, use the... I got an RTL SDR dongle somewhere down there. You can hook it up and monitor radio traffic, whatever it is. Uh, you know, just cool stuff. Then we have a little nifty 7-inch uh, monitor here. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, it's actually it's actually pretty nice. Uh, it was like eighty some bucks or something like that. Uh, not a whole lot. It was pretty cool. So yeah, there's that. Then down here I have my that's my Omni Charge uh, Omni Twenty uh, battery pack. I chose that battery pack because it's really it's it's a really nice battery pack. It packs a lot of features. Uh, even though it's a little pricey, but it packs a whole lot of cool features, uh, i.e. pass-through charging. Uh, it has, uh, it's, uh, it's chargeable through DC, uh, just your standard DC port. Uh, you can also charge it through uh, USB-C, as you can see. I'm uh, charging it down there uh, towards the wall. So it's it's pretty versatile. You can also... You can also connect a solar panel straight to the DC port and charge it that way. Uh, the voltage is pretty, it's pretty flexible. It's, uh, it'll accept anything from one volt to, uh, through, I think it's 36 volts, something like that. It's really awesome. Uh, it also has this pretty cool little screen here. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna, uh, See, it has a pretty cool display right now. We're at 100%, so it's just trickling enough charge to keep the monitor and the Raspberry Pi running. So, the monitor and the Pi, uh, just on idle as they are right now, they're they're consuming about 10 watts. Not a whole lot. 10, 11 watts. Not a whole lot, really. It's it's actually it's actually pretty uh, uh, it's actually uh, pretty good considering. You know considering what it is uh, so yeah that is my main that is my main power source there uh, back here I got some more uh, extra uh, battery packs that I can just uh, hook up down here through the USB-C port and just dump all that uh, charge that I have there onto this main battery pack so that it keeps uh, continuously running uh, the monitor and the server. If I shut down the if I shut down the monitor, uh, I can really extend the life of this uh, battery pack. This pack will run the server, uh, just the Pi itself, uh, for about 22 hours, uh, and it's a 20,000 milliamp. I have another 60,000 milliamps here, so you just you just have to do the math there. Uh, it'll keep things running for quite a while. Uh, so yeah. That's what we got going on there. Uh, over here to the left, we got uh, my Go 10 meshes. So I have 10 of these little units, uh, pretty nifty units. I really love them. I've uh, made some videos about those. Uh, I hate them, but I love them. Uh, so I always keep 10 of those there. Uh, this this kit is not just you know this kit is not just for like one person. This is this is a kit that's designed for like a small team, eight to ten people. Uh, to go out and do whatever they have to do. I don't know. In any, you know, in any type of uh, scenario, it doesn't have to, you know, doesn't have to relate to a, a military kind of scenario. This is this is pretty well applicable in the in a civilian scenario. Um, I.e. SAR teams. Hey, you get a SAR team to go and deploy to a particular area, open up this box, crank on your server, freaking uh Connect to your monitor, get it all all up and running, make sure everything is in good standing, then shut off the monitor, just let the server run there. Uh, connect to LTE, so I have a have a hotspot here. It's actually a phone, but 
I have that backup phone just as a hotspot. So right now the server has uh, LTE connectivity. Uh, and we can test that by just uh, doing some work down here. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to go over here. And uh, where's... I think No, that's not the one. Uh, wow, this is terrible. That, uh, let's see. There we go. That's a little better. So we can come over here and just pop our browser open. And we'll notice, boom, we're online, man. So, yeah, that's that. So we can uh, run on the internet there. Um, yeah, that's that. So we have LTE connectivity giving the Pi some uh, uh, some network connectivity out there for uh, beyond line and side communications. Uh, and then those uh, TAC clients connected to a Gotenna, they will talk to the person that's connected to this tablet that I'm using to record this right now. And then that tablet that's connected to the server is going to forward all that uh, all that PLI and all that information that's coming from the Gotenna network into the server and up through the internet uh, to another federated server that's in a in a um, you know in a more permanent location um so that's a cool you know that's a that's a pretty cool feature that uh this whole kit has uh over here we have a little bluetooth keyboard uh, right now i'm not using it uh because i'm here at home so i just have the little usb dongle here and i'm uh i'm using my actual keyboard over here so that's that uh but yeah over back here, this is just the cables, miscellaneous little slot over here. There's a bunch of cool cables here for, uh, uh, I got cables for, um, connecting, connecting a radio down here to the Pi. So I can connect an actual, uh, handheld radio here to the Pi and whatever radio traffic, uh, the radio is picking up is going to push it up to this, uh, VoIP server going on here in this, in the, in the Pi and then, uh, anybody can just connect to this Pi uh, remotely and uh, use a use a VoIP app to uh, talk voice into this Raspberry Pi and out through the radio that's connected to this Pi. So that's pretty cool. That way, you know, you can have somebody that's miles and miles and miles away uh, send a VoIP message uh, over to the server, and it's going to come out through the radio. Um, so pretty much anybody on the local net is going to be able to hear the message that's coming in. So that's pretty cool. And then what else? So then over here to the right, we have our Mavic Pro. So that's uh, that's our UAS capability. Uh, we have about 90 hours of flight time here. Uh, not a whole lot. But since, you know, uh, like I mentioned before, since this, uh, this main battery source is pretty versatile, uh, we can actually hook up. We can hook up to AC right here, and I can start charging. I can start charging the batteries uh, from right here from the AC port. Uh, in, in a worst case scenario, I can do that if I need it more than uh, 90 hours of flight time. Uh, but we have the charger here, and then down here I have the I have the actual 12 volt uh, like cigarette lighter charger there too, just in case I have to uh, charge uh, charge uh, on the go. Uh, impromptu kind of emergency. Um, I can also hook up a solar panel here and just charge this uh, completely off of solar, which is pretty cool. Um, what else we got here? What else we got going on? Well, that's about it, man. Uh, I think I think that about covers it. Covers everything that we uh, that we got going on here in this box. Uh, it's a pretty cool project. Uh, it's it's a ready to go box. Essentially, I just picked this box up pack it somewhere in some vehicle or something, go to a particular location, pop it open, turn on the server, uh, issue out the go tennis, give them out to the clients, um, connect to LTE, and boom, we're set, we're ready to go. Um, same thing goes, uh, you know, the drone. As soon as, we're, as soon as we're on site, I can start flying the drone, freaking capturing feeds of what's happening on ground, and then... Through the pie, I can uh, shoot that freaking 
shoot that drone feed back to a main server and uh, everybody at home base or whatever, you know, your actual uh, headquarters kind of uh, element can see the the drone feed uh, from guys on the ground and what they're seeing out there, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, that kind of covers my little go kit setup here. I uh, hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys uh, liked it. I think it's pretty cool. So I really don't give a shit if you don't like it. I think it's fucking cool, man. All right, dudes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more.